All right, it is now um, 1 a.m. in the next day of since the research system came out and, and I wanna share some tips with you guys of what I have encountered today. Let's dive in, into stage one of that mythical discovery. Stage one, it was um, pretty simple, right? I'm pretty sure you guys um, were able to do it, you know, just spin five Pokestop, catch 10 Pokemon, transfer five. Stage two, is where you have to earn two candies and walk with your buddy, right? So, um, just use like a Magikarp, Wailmer, um, all those one kilometer, I think Pidgey. Just walk with those and then you can get your two candies. And then you get a uh, hatch three eggs. So this is where, here's a tip. Since you got an incubator from that one, just like plug it into an egg right now. Um, try to hatch three all at once. And yeah, if you need to buy one, just, just buy one. Use your coins and just get one. So stage three, and then the raid one is where you can actually lose, um, and it'll still count since you don't actually have to win, right? It didn't say win the raid, just battle in the raid. So you can join the lobby um, by yourself, whatever private lobby, and then just sit there at any any raid that you want, one star, two star, legendary, if you're waiting for a group, and then just let the timer run, right? You go into battle, let that timer run. Make sure you lose, otherwise this will happen. Hmm. Doesn't that work? Yeah, so make sure you run that timer so this will happen. Alright, so the way to do I'm planning to do is go into the lobby, I'm mean, going to battle and then just do a run and wait for the timer to run out. And hopefully that works. Look at that struggle. Save myself some revives and pots. Four, two, one. No. Time's up. Got it. Oh, got the quest. All right, stage four. You might have to do a bit more walking because you have to earn five more candies with your buddy. Some of these give you actually um, stardust. So if you use a star piece or lucky egg during these, you can actually double your experience or. 50% more Stardust. But during this event right now, um, it's three times since it's a double Stardust. All right, so for stage five is more, this is like one of the most difficult ones. So you need to catch a Ditto. Um, you wanna go to a more populated place, like, I don't know, you can go to like Safeway or some supermarket, a lot of parking lots. Uh, if it's partly cloudy, then the Yama that most likely could be a ditto because mostly it's for normal, right? And of course, everything will spawn everywhere. Here's a video where I got it randomly with my plus, but hey. Whose van can there be? All right, so the tip is to actually get to stage five before nighttime because also for stage five, you need to get 10 ghost Pokemon. So if you can't find a nest nearby, like what I was doing, I would pretty much nighttime is where all the ghosts tend to spawn more often, right? Nighttime, um, most of my ghosts that I caught were, I got one in like the park, but most of them were like in random parking lots. I went from parking to parking lot in the area and then they seemed to have more ghosts. All right, and for stage six, you wanna keep your Magikarp candies and or your Magikarp because you're gonna need to evolve that. Remember that. And then there's also that 10 battle, uh, battle 10 raids. So you can pretty much do the same thing um, 10 times in one just to be raid pass efficient. Just like in what stage three is where that happens. So apparently it seems like the battle is like three minutes and then the wait time in the lobby is two minutes. So it's gonna take five minutes, five times 10, 50 minutes, and the raid's only 45. So you're gonna have to end up doing two, use two raid passes anyways. And I didn't get to stage seven yet, but. Yeah, now I'm trying to do an excellent curve throw. Uh, I don't actually have a raid pass, but if you do have one, you can just do a legendary. It'd be easy for you to get that excellent curve ball throw. And not just look for the biggest Pokemon you can find or an evolution, usually like a Whelmer. Yes, on a Rhyhorn. Got an excellent curve throw. So you pretty much curve it up and then you can kind of 
Yeah. All right, so now after you get the excellent throw, if you want to like do the, the quest with the one that buries, you could just use like a pineapple or ninabs and then just don't even do curveball so it'll pop out, hopefully. Oh, and I want it to miss, but so it'll pop out and then you can use another barrier and do another catch with the same Pokemon. So you don't have to keep looking all the time and it'll count towards your two or how many berries you use in this encounter. And all right, that's about all the tips I have for you guys. Um, let me know if that helps you. I hope it does. And I do have another video with Mew under a truck. And with that, later days.